Mary Calvi. Now on CBS 2 and streaming on CBS News New York, we begin with that wild wreck this morning in downtown Brooklyn. Four passengers were taken to the hospital and one of them, a woman, has died. And now we're learning what may have caused the crash. CBS News with Doug Williams joins us live from the scene with the very latest on the sky. Yeah, Mary, it really is the very latest because we're going to show you in just a moment some new surveillance video that we just received. This is right where the black sedan involved in this crash ended up, right up against that tree. And this might not look like a crime scene anymore, but it was as of about 40 minutes ago, still taped off here on Court Street. Trader Joe's was closed. There was a long line of people waiting to get in. Let's show you that surveillance video, though, that we just received, which shows uh, you can briefly see the moment of impact in this accident before that black Mercedes which, according to police, was speeding, comes to a close uh, and, and crashes right up against uh, the edge of this tree. Uh, the two passengers inside that Mercedes did survive, one of which was taken into custody. The woman in that car was taken to the hospital. But again, what's left here as of this afternoon is uh, what's left of a very deadly and dangerous accident. It's like a crazy... Uh like, uh, you know, high-impact action movie, but it's really here. Yeah. New video provided to CBS2 shows a black Mercedes sedan engulfed in flames shortly after the accident around 3.30 a.m. this morning. Police say a white Honda Accord and a black Mercedes collided violently at the intersection of Court Street and Atlantic Avenue in downtown Brooklyn after the Mercedes ran a red light at a high rate of speed. An 18-year-old female passenger of the white Honda was pronounced dead at the hospital. I've seen a lot of traffic accidents in my time. This one is was 100% preventable. According to police, of the five combined passengers, four were transported to the hospital. A man who had been in the black Mercedes attempted to run away, but was caught by police and taken into custody. I'm shocked. And what bothers me the most is people complain that TJ's is closed. We have somebody died. When our crew arrived this morning at about 10.15 a.m., police were just then removing their tape and what was left of both vehicles. Police have not yet released information on the suspect taken into custody and i can't emphasize enough mary just how different this scene looked like in the last two hours there was glass and debris still all over the street as of this morning around 10 15 when we arrived it's just recently been cleaned up but you can't walk 10 feet without uh, glass underneath your feet it's eerie you can see there's still blue police tape across the street but for now court street is back open they had to get that victim pronounced dead at the hospital out of the car by cutting into the vehicle. We're live here in downtown Brooklyn. Doug Williams, CBS 2 News.